So I'm going to go ahead and hoop up because this one is also going to fit in the 5 by 7 hoop. So I like to just leave it all on the row. A lot of times I will just embroider and just keep everything on the on the strip and then I will uh, cut apart the strips in the very end. But I'm just cutting them as we go right now. You don't want to pull too much. But I do want to get any bubbles out of there and make sure it's nice and flat. That feels pretty good. That just absolutely looks amazing. All right, let's go ahead and go to the machine. We'll load our design. We are going to be doing, um, I think I already showed you this, but we are going to be doing broom parking. It's on page 17. We're going to load wavy three for the four by six. I already have my batting cut five by seven and we're using the five by seven hoop. See you at the machine. All right, let's get to our design. First, we're gonna load the quilting design. And the quilting design for broom parking is wavy three. Wavy three, ladies. Let's go right here, and we're going wavy three, PES. Remember last time I tried to load the instructions? That didn't work. And um, the N size, and I wrote that on here. I mean, they said your trim size to pick it, but I feel like it makes more sense to just uh, grab this because that's your end size, which is four by six. Four by six, right here. And you have two different four by sixes. I'm gonna do this one. Let's set it. And then we're gonna add, let me back that up so you can see what I'm doing. And we are adding the parking. And the parking one says broom parking only. I'm going to go ahead and set that. Broom parking only. Looks great. Let's go embroidery. And first thing we're going to do, ladies, and I'm just going to leave my gray in there. We are going to do the placement stitch. Whoops. Didn't cinch down my lever. We're going to do placement stitch for the batting. Go ahead and give your batting a little bit of spray on the bumpy side. And just go ahead and hit start tack it down after this we'll do our placement stitch for the batting for the backing get your applique scissors ready here's your background fabric it is cute This is a 23 minute stitch out just because um, I think the writing just takes a while. Trim the excess batting all the way around. This is when I, my face is like right next to the phone where I start breathing really heavy. All right. Tuck down stitch. Sometimes I forget this one. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot of spray on the back and then I'm gonna fold it in quarters so we can lay it down. And I'm not putting that much spray down 
Never spray at your machine. I know it's a little gummy, but. And you can like just fold it in half because you can line these up with these centering lines and just unfold it. You can eyeball it too. You've got a decent amount of room on either side for when we trim it. All right, let's go ahead and do our tack down. I still just have that gray in there. And then we are ready to start following our instructions. So it says choose a neutral color and you're gonna stitch the sign placement line. So I'll just leave that gray in there. And then you're gonna go ahead and give this a little shot of spray. This is semi-directional, like depending, I would look at your fabric and just see, looks, look at what looks the most right side up. I'm gonna lay mine down like this. Oh, sorry ladies, this is a, this is the quilting. I just, I always forget that we're gonna have quilting. And I just have that gray in there, it looks great. Just know we're quilting, and half the time I'm gonna forget to say the quilting's next. I'm gonna be using white and gray for most of my quilting. Adjust this on my arm. There we go. All right, now I'm just going to hit start and I'm going to do the placement line for the sign fabric. And that's that purple again. down just do it just like that do your my tack down and again it says don't trim after you do this tack down the lettering is going to be in white so make sure you have a white bobbin in there put in some white thread. I'm going to do the lettering. Oh. 
And the next color you want to get is that kind of orangey, that yellowish orange that's going to be the outline of this sign. And this is going to be 11 minutes of stitching, so go find something to do.
I ran out of bobbin thread. No, I just came and threaded on the top. Let me go ahead and re-thread. I'm going to go back a couple stitches. Looks like I didn't get any of that G. Or is that the end? That's the end. There. I was just waiting to see when I could pop over that G.
this is done stitching with the white, we're going to go ahead and trim it and then we're going to do the satin stitch around it.
right, I'm going to go ahead and change out. I was going to use that yellowy orange. I just need to have more orange, I think. So putting in an orange that's a little more orange than what I showed you. And the instructions say after you do this that we can go ahead and uh, trim sign fabric close to stitch line after you stitch the words. So let me grab this. And pop it out. And let's go ahead and trim it. I don't know why they want you to wait. Maybe, I don't know why. Maybe the piece is more secure with everything stitched. I worry about forgetting. Okay, gonna go ahead and put in my orange. I still have a white bobbin in there. And this is seven minutes of stitching. Oop. my hoop on.
that's amazing. And then after it's done with this, we're just gonna pop it out of the hoop and trim it down. You're gonna use your four and a half by six and a half pop ruler. Go ahead and heat up your iron so you can press this. I'm just going to slide it out. I'm going to pop it out of the hoop. And then we can come on over to my ironing station. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little squirt from the back. I like to, I mean, this is diagonal. I'm going to go in the direction of the diagonals first. I mean, you definitely wouldn't want to distort this. But you just want it to be nice and flat. That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down here. Broom parking only. All others will be stitched in the ditch. Oh my God, that is so cute. All right, let me go ahead and put my blade up. I'm going to center it around that stitch line. I find that usually the, the um, pop ruler is pretty close to the right and left edges and about an eighth of an inch from the top and the bottom. So... All right, let's do it. One little thread catching me. And here we go. Super cute. Alrighty. Um, we are done for last week's homework. So the only thing that I have left to do from our printout is, we did that already, is we're going to do the large pinwheel. So let me go ahead and get my machine switched over and we'll get ready to do some sewing. <laughs> 